Hi, this is Paul Frader with the Wisconsin DNR Science Services and I'm here today to show you how to make plant species distribution maps using QGIS. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open uh, your QGIS desktop and this is just going to take a second to open up. Um, and then we're going to put this aside for just a second because we're going to need to create a CSV file out of the Excel template that you entered your data into. So you're going to want to go ahead and open that Excel worksheet. I'm just using this uh, uh, Arrowhead Lake in Vilas County as an example. Um, delete all the rows up to the sampling point. And just highlight and click delete. And then this template also populates rows out to 4,000. So you're just going to want to delete all those. You can click the um, after the last row or the first empty row. Go all the way down to 4,000. Hit shift and highlight that to select all of them. And then just right click and hit delete. And now only your rows that actually have data appear. And then you're going to want to save this as a comma separated value file. So you can leave the name the same. And here under the save as type it says Excel workbook. Um, just click on CSV comma delimited. And click save and it should save next to your uh, Excel worksheet. And you can just click OK and yes. And then go ahead and close out of that file click don't save. You want to make sure you don't overwrite your original Excel file. Um, so you should have both of them um, right next to each other here. Okay, then we can go back into QGIS and add in our uh, layers for our lake. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, the way I like to do it is to find your shape files. So I have a shape file for both the, the outline of the lake, which is called um, poly. So I'm going to add that in. And then I have a shape file for the um, grid of points that we use to do the sampling. So I'm just going to drag that in. And as you can see, we have our lake with our points here. The other way you can do that is by hitting this Add Vector Layer and then hit, clicking Browse and nav simply navigating to your um, your two shape files for the polygon and the and the points layers, and then just hit it and hit Open and that'll open it up. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do here oops, is add in our um, layer for our data. If you open up, you can open up the attributes table for our points layer by right clicking and hit, hitting open attribute table. And you'll see in here that it has coordinate data, but there's no plant species data from when you sampled. So what we want to do is get that plant species data into the attribute table. So I'm going to find my comma separated values worksheet here. Simply drag that into the layers box and it'll appear right there. The other way you can do it is by hitting this add delimited text layer. Clicking on that and going to browse opening your CSV file and then you're going to want to hit this no geometry button and clicking OK. I'm just going to cancel because I already have it in there. And then what we want to do is join our plant data into our coordinate data, data so that it can appear on this grid. So what, how we're going to do that is we're going to double click on the points layer to open this layers property box and we're going to make sure we're on the join uh, tab there and then go to this green arrow and click add join we're going to add a vector join uh, we're going to, the layer is going to be arrowhead the join field is going to be sampling point and the target field is going to be plot ID go ahead and click OK and OK here and then when we open the attributes table you will see that all of our plant species data is now in the attributes table for the point layer. Okay, that's the end of this video. Um, we'll make the map in the next video.